Hey Heart fans, the question is upon us. Is Timmy Turner really Danny Phantom? Good question. And let's break it down right now, shall we? This this theory has been floating around the internet like, uh, what, what floats around? What kind of things float around? I know that Cosmo Wanda float around, I know that. I know ghosts float around. This question's been floating around for a long time. Timmy Turner, is he Danny Phantom? Now, let me ask you guys a question. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you guys think Timmy Turner became Danny Phantom in some way? Now, why would people think this? I mean, it's a legit question, if you must know. Being the guy who created both shows, Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents, I know for a fact whether this is true or not. But let's, let's, let's look into it for a minute here. At first, when I heard this theory, I'm like, yeah, right, that's that silly. I mean, they're two different kids. They live in two different universes. Their shows have completely different vibes. So let's start here. Let's start with Timmy and his fairies. Timmy's got a pretty good deal going on. He's 10 years old. Life isn't going so great. Has a very mean babysitter named Vicky. Parents, sweet, but kind of oblivious. And so Timmy's kind of on his own. He's kind of alone. Suddenly, these two magic characters show up in his life, Cosmo and Wanda. And they can do anything. They really can. They can do anything. Now, are they good at doing anything? Not really. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they mess up though, but most of the time, things work out, but it uh, really is kind of a be careful what you wish for scenario. But look at this. He's going along great. He's getting to make his every wish. Things are going fine. Except maybe for an occasional misstep uh, with Vicky or Mr. Crocker. Fairies! But then, Timmy finds out along the road that he's going to lose Cosmo and Wanda at some point. Rumors start coming in as he meets Jorgen and other kids with fairies, and uh, his adventures continue. He finds out that as kids get older, they lose their fairy godparents. And that's kind of sad. I mean, how would you feel? What would you do? Would you want your best friends, who are ultimately powerful, to go away? I know they screw up sometimes, but still think about that. Would you really want to lose the ultimate power in the universe? The power to make possible anything you wish for. Think about that. I don't think Timmy would want to lose that power, so what would Timmy do? He's got several options. One, he could just go along with the way things are. He could uh, go along until he's 12, 13 years old and slowly lose his fairies and lose all memory of them. That happened to Mr. Crocker in an episode called The Secret Origin of Denzel Crocker. Mr. Crocker had fairies as a kid and they were Cosmo and Wanda and he lost them, so it drove him insane because there was a little bit of a lingering memory there, so that wasn't too pleasant. So bad things can happen if you have fairies and lose them and forget them. You never know. Now here's a theory a lot of people have put out. They think that Timmy Turner, in a great desire to keep his best friends who are ultimately powerful, made an amazing wish. He wished that not only could he keep his fairies, he wants to hide so deep undercover that no one can find him, not even Jordan with all of his magical powers. So Timmy wishes to be in a whole other universe. And that is the universe of Danny Phantom. Now Timmy doesn't hide in Danny Phantom's universe. Timmy Turner creates Danny Phantom's universe. He becomes a kid named Danny Fenton. He's a little older. Even wishes Cosmo Wanda can still be with him, but they won't be them. They won't be Cosmo Wanda. They won't be fairies. They will be the ghosts that come out of the portal. Because Cosmo Wanda can change their shape into anything. Just look at any Fairly Odd Parents episode. They become cats. They become fish. All kinds of things. So Cosmo Wanda have the power to do this and the power to hide Timmy. So Timmy, now that Timmy's in this universe, it can't just be a universe where nothing happens. The people he creates have to have something to do. So Timmy creates this fantasy world where he's a ghost-busting kid named Danny Fenton. His parents are ghostbusters. He goes into a ghost portal, gets half of his DNA mixed up with ghost DNA and has these ghost powers. Now he's got to fight ghosts, Cosmo and Wanda, all the time to keep up the charade. Okay, now we have seen these characters cross over before. And the most recent example is my short cartoon I did called Fairly Odd Phantom, where the Danny Phantom characters meet the Fairly Odd Parents characters and they meet the Tough Puppy characters and they meet Bunsen from Bunsen is a Beast. So there is a short cartoon out there that does exist where you see all of my Nickelodeon characters meeting in the same place. So it is possible for them to cross universes. Also, you do see Timmy Turner, Cosmo Wanda meeting Bunsen and Mikey in Bunsen as a Beast in a crossover episode that we did on Nickelodeon where both worlds collide, where Amanda and Mr. Crocker team up to uh, destroy Timmy and Bunsen. It's kind of funny. So that has happened as well. Also, in the Fairly Odd Parents episode, Polter Geeks, Timmy's mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Turner, become ghost fighting uh, super people and they have a secret ghost fighting lab in their house. Does that sound familiar to you? You can even see Danny Phantom on screen behind Timmy's mom and dad in this episode. So did the universes cross there? Hmm, what do you think? And there's another Fairly Odd Parents episode called Flyboy. There's a 1950s sort of a teenage monster movie on TV and we can see Dash Baxter from Danny Phantom in that episode. So those universes have crossed in the past. Also there's a comic book called Fairly Odd Phantom that's an extension of the Fairly Odd Phantom short cartoon that I did that ended up on YouTube. It's really, really cool. And in this comic book, the Danny Phantom 
and Fairly Odd Parents, Tough Puppy, and Bunsen Villains have all captured me, and all the good guy characters have to get me back from the bad guy characters. It's really, really cool. So they've even crossed over in comic book form, so you know what? It is possible. Let's look at some other aspects of this theory as well. For example, Fairy World and the Ghost Zone. Now, Timmy Turner in Fairly Odd Parents has Fairy World. He goes there to hang out with his fairy friends, right? All these magical characters, they live in a place that's not Earth. All the rules of reality are suspended, and Timmy can do pretty much anything he wants up there. Same goes with Danny Phantom. Danny's got this imaginary realm called the Ghost Zone that only he and his friends know about. One other person knows about it as well, and that's Vlad Plasmius, Danny Phantom's ultimate bad guy. But wait, Timmy Turner has an ultimate bad guy too, and that's Mr. Crocker. So did Timmy take Mr. Crocker and turn him into Vlad Plasmius so he could still have some kind of a foe to battle against so life wouldn't get boring? What do you think? What if he took Vicky's evil and combined it with Crocker's evil and made Vicky and Crocker into Vlad Plasmius? Because Vlad's name begins with V, and so does Vicky. Also, Timmy's got two friends named AJ, he's really smart, and Chester, a happy-go-lucky kid who's really not as smart as AJ. Danny's got two friends, Tucker, who's really smart, and then Dash, who's, well, you know, not quite as smart as Tucker. But could those two be the same people as well? Did Timmy bring those guys over into the Danny Phantom universe too? Okay, there's also two very special women in Timmy Turner's life. There's Tootie, who's a little bit annoying as far as Timmy's concerned. She has the big glasses and the floating ponytails above her head, plus she wears a plaid skirt. Could Timmy Turner have taken that girl into the Danny Phantom universe and turned her into Sam Manson, a girl with a floating ponytail and a plaid skirt. Took the glasses away, but maybe Sam wears contacts. You never know. And there's Trixie Tang in the Fairly Odd Parents universe, dark hair, pink top. Go to Paulina in Danny Phantom, dark hair, pink top. In Fairly Odd Parents, Timmy's got a crush on Trixie, but not Tootie. In Danny Phantom, Danny's got a crush on Paulina, but not Sam. It all seems like it ties together, like the strings of the universe. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that there's some relevance to this theory? Are Timmy Turner and Danny Phantom more close than we actually first imagined? I know they're both created by the same guy, that's me, but are they really the same character? Uh, just is it Timmy Turner trying to hide out with his fairies? Did we just expose a giant secret that no one else knew about? What do you think? If you have any more theories about my shows, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and I would like to explore them even more. You know what I'm talking about? All right guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, art gives you power, use it wisely. Wait a minute. Do you guys think that Tough Puppy is Scooby Doo? They, they both hunt things. They both they both are uh, uh, surrounded by their friends. They both um, are always after mysteries. They have mystery. They're thinking about things and looking for clues. And maybe they're kind of. Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.